another virtual story time with Miss Brittany. I'm so excited to have you joining me again today. We are going to continue our talk about shapes this week and I have a lot more fun things planned for us. So let's dive right in. today is simply called the shape song and uh, this is another one that is going to help us reinforce the concepts of what characteristics certain shapes have so it goes like this a circle is a shape that goes round and round round and round round and round a circle is a shape that goes round and round round and round a triangle is a shape with three sides, with three sides, with three sides. A triangle is a shape with three sides, with three sides. A square is a shape with four sides, with four sides, with four sides. A square is a shape with four sides, with four sides. A pentagon is a shape with five sides, with five sides, with five sides. A pentagon is a shape with five sides, with five sides. And then uh, you can keep doing that for different shapes and talking about the number of sides that they have. You know, uh, some of those ones that as you add uh, another side to it, it gets a little complicated and it can be hard for kids to uh, distinguish which one is which. So it's a really good way to reinforce that counting the number of sides tells you what shape you're looking at. called Do You Know What Shape It Is? And if you had a chance to watch the first story time video on shapes that was posted a couple days ago, um, I recommended that you do some shape I spy around your house. So I looked around my house and found a few different shapes um, that I wanted to share with you guys today because this would be another great song to do uh, when you play that game or even just as a, um, a way to challenge your kids when you're, when you're out doing something and need something to fill the time. It goes like this. Do you know what shape this is? Shape this is, shape this is. Do you know what shape this is? It's a circle. Give your circle a shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Give your circle a shake, shake, shake. It's a circle. All right, guys, what about this one? Do you know what shape this is? Shape this is, shape this is. Do you know what shape this is? It's a square. Give your square a shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Give your square a shake, shake, shake. It's a square. All right, how about this little guy? Do you know what shape this is? Shape this is, shape this is. Do you know what shape this is? It's a star. Give your star a shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Give your star a shake, shake, shake. It's a star. How about... Do you know what shape this is? Shape this is, shape this is. Do you know what shape this is? It's a rectangle. Give your rectangle a shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Give your rectangle a shake, shake, shake. It's a rectangle. All right, guys, I had one more shape that I found at my house. Do you know what shape this is? Shape this is, shape this is. Do you know what shape this is? It's a heart. Give your heart a shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Give your heart a shake, shake, shake. It's a heart. 
Good job, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that, and I hope that you will take some time to find some more shapes around your house and sing that song together. together today is just a really simple little action song but it's a good way to uh, get some some wiggles out so it's called have you ever seen a circle and it goes like this have you ever seen a circle a circle a circle have you ever seen a circle that goes round and round it rolls this way and that way and that way Way and this way have you ever seen a circle that goes round and round let's sing it again have you ever seen a circle a circle a circle have you ever seen a circle that goes round and round it rolls this way and that way and that way and this way have you ever seen a circle that goes round and round all right guys that is going to be it for our shape story time this week the act activity that I wanted to leave you with today is to practice writing some or drawing some shapes this this week. Um, learning to draw shapes is actually a really good uh, precursor for learning to write so it's really good practice for for little ones. Um, you can do it as simple as you know just pulling out the the paper and pencils or crayons markers whatever um, but you know I also love sensory activities so um, it's a really simple one to do. You just need um, either a tray or a container um, preferably something shallow so maybe like a cookie sheet is actually perfect um, and then you just want to fill it with something uh, that you can and, um, that you can write on, write with. So um, my suggestions would be sugar or salt, flour if you don't mind getting a little extra messy. You can use um, uncooked rice and really any of those is a good option but also remember that if you do this more than once maybe switch it up and use a different thing so that they can um, experience um, different different textures when when they're doing this activity so um, those are all good options you just put them in uh, your tray or your cookie sheet you just want um, a, a thin layer that you can use to write um, write in so um, it is sometimes helpful if they can see the shape and then draw it themselves so either have it already um, drawn on a piece of paper for them or you know you can get your hands in there and you can draw it and then let them draw it too so just practice your different shapes and then if you're you're feeling up to it you can do your letters too um, because like I said it's just it's good practice for them and it's also um, a good way to build those fine motor skills so I hope that you have fun I hope that you you maybe get a little messy this weekend and that I will um, look forward to hearing about it. So I will see you guys again next time. We will have stories, story times again next week on Monday and Wednesday morning posted on the Library's Facebook page at 10.30 a.m. You can also find these videos on the Library's website, which is www.finleylibrary.com. Org, there is a virtual story time page located under the kids drop down menu. While there, I hope you will also check out the story time handouts that Miss Amy has been putting together for you guys. There are lots of great different options for more story times that you can do at home. And then don't forget that after you read all those books together that you go into your Read Squared account and log your books for the summer reading program. Um, it's been really fun to see you guys reading so many books this summer. I'm really proud of you and uh, I hope that you're enjoying that program. So I will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.